Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider that at one point, the you know price was down around this area of the chart and by the closing bell, the price managed to work its way back up there. Any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price certainly made a very nice bounce on the day. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is down here at 009. Why is 009 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement has genuine power, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. I agree. So with that in mind, think about 009. Any sort of closes below there or worse set if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that area of the chart where it was at these low points. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner and then works its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying progress as again, 009. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards bounce is gonna continue, uh, the big kind of overarching one that's just sitting not that far away is that pink line there, the famous 200 period simple moving average. So keep an eye on that one, 200 period, if the price can push through there, then it's the little brother of the 200 period, the 50 period moving average up there. But in my opinion, at least top priority right now is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance. It's all about starting to build, build upon this bounce and go through some healthy consolidations and chip away with these higher bases. So the week is young, still four days left. Let's see if the bulls can uh, start to chip away with higher lows or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.